What would you do if you went to visit friends in a foreign country, they invited you to their traditional hot springs bath ritual, and once they're out in beautiful nature, everyone started taking their clothes off, underwear included? That's exactly what happened to me a few months ago in my trip to Iceland. My friends invited me to go to the hot springs with them and once we arrived there, I put down my backpack, pulled out the towel and once I turned back again, everyone was completely naked. They explained me that that's the way they do every week and it's the traditional way to do it in Iceland. They also told me that if I felt uncomfortable with it, I could have kept my swimsuit on. Luckily, I don't have problems with public nudity, when it makes sense. So I followed what the rest of the group had done. After a while, I was publicly bathing in this crystal clear water without any clothes on. I realized that not only I was completely naked in front of several heterosexual men, but that for the first time I felt completely comfortable with it. I didn't feel eyes on me. I didn't feel shame. I didn't feel I was not wearing clothes, to be honest. We were simply conversating as we did in many other situations. I was showing my naked body to several men and women and I did not feel any sexual tension. It's been one of the most liberating sensations I've experienced in my life. The whole situation felt so chilled and relaxed, despite the unusual condition, that I started wondering, why do I normally get stared at and feel uncomfortable if I'm showing a little bit of skin, if I'm wearing a particularly tight dress, or if I am in a bathing suit? Bisogna trasgredire! Ma cosa stai dicendo? Come questo sta dicendo? Non le piace il mio vestito? Ma sì, ma qui c'è qualche orpello da tirar via, mi sembra per esempio questo. Ma non è un orpello! 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 Well, growing up in Italy in the 90s, I was certainly situated in a certain sociocultural environment. The beginning of the 90s in my country had been strongly marked by the raise of privately owned national TV channels. Because they were privately owned, they made off profit the number one goal in their programming. And what sells better than sex? che vuoi e non cola. Cosa state facendo? Sto verniciando e Giovanna mi aiuta. Brava Giovanna, brava. The Southwest Patty Melt with jalapenos, pepper jack cheese, and spicy Santa Fe sauce. Visual media started being more and more sexually explicit and used to attract a broader audience than the one interested in cultural shows and movies. The female body in particular became the object of this new type of content. As a kid, I learned how female butt cheeks look like because I kept seeing women dancing in thongs in front of the camera. I knew how breasts were made because I used to see them partially peeking out of very tiny push-up bras. Certain TV programs showed crowds of high school girls playing stupid games and singing insignificant songs in a studio that was inevitably revolving around a swimming pool.
my mom's female magazines were made of white pages filled with boring looking tags alternated to bright colorful pages showing these beautiful women wearing luscious clothes and looking irresistible spraying perfume on their necks. Then there were the music clips on MTV. They had plenty of women in them for sure. Some were the slutty dancers around the tough looking male singer, whereas the others were the singers themselves, hmm, wearing little to no clothes, pounds of makeup on their face, and again shaking their naked butts to the camera. Growing up in a traditional Christian country, for most of my life, that's the closest I got to see naked bodies in public. It's been sex, sex, sex everywhere, mostly embodied by a provoking looking female character. After so much brainwashing and subconscious influence, what else should I feel when taking my clothes off in public, if not a mere sexual object? My Icelandic friends instead, I'm sure they haven't gone through Berlusconi's TV education program in their childhood, and probably they got used to see naked bodies in real life, in contexts that were not necessarily sexual. At least here in Iceland, it's like was a tradition to go naked because you didn't really have any swimsuit or anything like that. So back in the old days, people would just go naked, and that tradition like kind of kept going until like tourism became like a big thing. And in swimming pools, you have to wear uh, like swimsuits and stuff. So, but you go to the showers naked with like people of your own sex. So. All the men go naked to the shower and then put on like a swimsuit and go to the swimming pool. And it used to be like women would go topless, you know, it used to be a big thing. And they can still do it if they want to, but like society kind of pushes you in a certain direction when it comes to this. Here in this area, these hot springs have been used for hundreds of years by the locals and they've always been going naked. And of course, like nobody's like forced to go naked, but yeah, most people do. It's just kind of like desexualizes the whole being naked thing and makes it like fine. A lot of our like family members, you know, come with and they're naked. Most people like think it's weird or whatever. I have to say, I also agree very much with this point. It desexualizes the fact of being naked. Because, um, I mean, I'm trying it today. We are naked right now. And it, it doesn't feel weird at all once you um, take away the sexual component of the whole thing right yeah so this is really cool i i kind of hope that we would hang out naked more in in the society in general yeah i, th I think so too it's not only tv and magazines it's every visual media out there it's the makeup on social media it's celebrities showy clothes it's sex everywhere it's most of pop's music imagery it's movies it's porn after centuries of Christian domination where the body was shamed and sex was repressed, we finally entered a new era. But sometimes I wonder whether this famous liberation of body and sex has taken a healthy positive direction, or instead if it's making our society even more sick. Going back to my sensation in that hot spring somewhere in northern Iceland, my point is Maybe we should learn from Nordic populations like the Icelander to practice more public nudity and stop considering human bodies as mere sexual objects. A body is just a body. Everybody has one. Some are longer, some are shorter, some look more tan, some look more pale, but they all have one thing in common. They are one and only irreplaceable home. Let's not make an object out of them, shall we? There are much more than that. If you are interested in hearing about more Icelandic culture told by locals, aka my friends, check out this video here. <laughs>